Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie and hey to any newbies and welcome back you regular viewers. Today I'm going to be doing one of my favourite type of videos which is a foundation review. So I'm going to be doing the review and first impressions of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. So this is a, quite a new release and I really love Wet n Wild products so I thought why not give it a go, check it out, see how the £6 foundation performs. So if you want to see my review and first impressions of this foundation, just keep on watching and do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I'll get started. So guys, I picked this up from Beauty Bay, um, but you can get it from Wet n Wild website and you can buy it in a number of places online, so I'll link those below. Um, this was £5.95 from Beauty Bay, but you can get it for £6 in some other places in the UK and it retails for $6.49 in uh, Wet n Wild's website. Um, there was 20 shades available to pick from and I've also reviewed the normal uh, Photo Focus foundation and I really loved that one, I'll link it below. And also the stick foundation of the Photo Focus, again reviewed that so if you want to check that out um, I'll link those below so you can see um, those videos as well. Um, but yeah, um, it's 28 mils. I went for shade, what shade did I go for? I went for soft beige and this is light medium and what does it say it says on the website um ultra lightweight moisturizing formula delivers buildable coverage and a long lasting um foundation hydrating glow so like i said love um wet and wild products so very excited to give this a go um, so all I've got on my skin now is some um, moisturiser with SPF in it, uh, which has been on my skin for a little while. Um, like all my foundation reviews, I do prime one side and try a sponge and a brush to see how it performs. So I'm going to go in with my Becca Back Light Primer um, on one side and um, on primed on the other side. As this is a dewy foundation, I imagine you won't really need this dewy primer, but just keeping it consistent. So I'm going to pop this on this side of my face. So guys, that's the prime side, um, so ready to put on the foundation. Um, I'm going to check, so you've got the little spatula like the normal Photo Focus has. Um, I'm going to smell it because the other Photo Focus non-dewy one really has quite a strong smell. Okay, this one has a smell, but it's not as strong a smell as the a uh, normal non dewy one. So I'm going to pop this on. Do love this little spatula. It's really, um, yeah, just really easy way to apply. Um, and that looks like a quite a good color match. So with, um, that was sort of one spatula um, dip in. And then I'm going to go in with my Morphe M439 foundation brush on this side and just blend it in and see how it goes. I do have like oily combo skin so I have an oily t-zone and I've got normal everywhere else so my t-zone does get quite oily. That's blending it out nice and it's got um yeah it definitely doesn't have as strong a scent as the the normal um photo focus wet and wild foundation. So that's with one spatula amount put on. It gives a lovely sort of light medium coverage well probably more medium coverage it's you can still see like my moles and stuff but and a little bit of pinkness but it looks really nice and definitely evened out the skin tone um, in a nice way and the luminosity is definitely coming through. I don't know if that's the Becca Backlit Primer or um, actually just the foundation creating that dreaminess so we'll know on the other side where I don't have the primer. But yeah, that's looking really nice. Um, so I'm going to pop on the same amount on the other side so we can then um, blend out with a beauty blender sponge. So one spatula and then just popping it on the skin. So guys, that's one spatula amount put on and now I'm going in with a damp beauty sponge and blending that. Okay, that's blending out nice and easy with the sponge as well. Yeah, there's still some luminosity, um, which is nice coming through. So this definitely has a little bit of a dewiness which I would expect as it is the illuminating dewy version of the original. So guys that's the side with the beauty blender no primer it's still got a lovely luminosity to the skin and it looks very natural um, just very healthy looking skin light medium coverage even so it's skin tone so really liking how it's looking at the moment 
what I'm going to do is go finish the rest of my makeup and then come back and give you my final thoughts. So guys, this is the foundation with the rest of my makeup on. I really, really like how it looks. I think it looks really natural. It gives like a nice level of coverage without looking heavy. It's got a nice glow, but not so glowy where if you've got oily or combo skin that you couldn't wear it. Um, I think it's a really great foundation for like six pounds or 5.95, really great price. So what am I gonna give it? I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I think for the price, it's another great hit from Wet n Wild along uh, with the other great foundations from Wet n Wild. So really, really pleased I tried it. Um, just really feels very lightweight on the skin, feels very natural, doesn't feel too heavy and it sits nice on the wrinkles. It doesn't look aging me. It just feels like it sits nicely over the wrinkles, which is something that I do look for um, in a foundation. Which side do I prefer? I think I actually prefer the brush side than the sponge side and I think with or without the primer um, doesn't make a massive difference but I think I might like the prime side just a tiny bit more but I think it's mainly the brush application. I prefer it with the brush application than the sponge because it is kind of quite a light medium coverage. When it's quite a light medium coverage I normally prefer a brush because it keeps the coverage there with the foundation um, but I don't hate it with the sponge. I just would moving forward probably just use a brush to apply it. Um, yeah guys, do let me know if you've tried this foundation, what you think, if you're going to check it out, um, let me know if you go try it out and what you think, as I always love hearing from you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!